And I'll be honest, the shipment delays with the Pfizer vaccine have been incredibly disappointing. Canadians, myself included, have been desperate to learn when this pandemic will be over for almost a year now. And to be told on Friday that we would receive 18,200 less doses of the Moderna vaccine, I can't stress how frustrating that is. We have been given multiple deadlines during 2020 and 2021, but it seems like each of them have fallen through. Um, I think one of the things to remember is Canada no longer has any domestic production capacity for vaccines. Trudeau has been hesitant to issue timelines in the past, but with the emergence of new vaccines, there appeared to be an inevitable light at the end of the tunnel. Trudeau's promise that 70% of Canadians would be vaccinated by September seemed definitive. But as we've seen over the past two to three weeks, Trudeau's plan is falling apart. In this video, we'll provide an outline of what the original plan was, why it's falling apart, what the problems were from the outset, and what could happen to save their deadline. Here is how and why Trudeau's vaccination plan is already disintegrating. In early December, the first successful COVID-19 vaccine was approved by Health Canada for use. Trudeau and the Liberal government had spent the past six months attempting to secure preemptive contracts for vaccines that were still in the works. The news that Pfizer and Moderna, two companies they had secured contracts with, had successfully found vaccines brought a new wave of optimism about the imminent end of the COVID pandemic. Adding to this wave of optimism was a new plan released by Health Canada and then promoted by Trudeau. It seemed simple enough and delivered a concrete date for Canadians to hold out for. Although it was comprised of many parts, the most important was the timeline they provided. Here is how they imagined the vaccine rollout. Based on the amount of COVID doses they believed they had secured, they set three broad targets. The first was to go from zero to three million immunizations between December and March. They would then begin vaccinating what they call the general public beginning in April, with Trudeau and Patty Hajdu at one point promising that 70% of Canadians would be immunized by September of 2021, creating what's called a herd immunity. And every Canadian that wants to be immunized by the end of 2021 at the latest. That would mean they're planning to immunize about 26 million 400,000 Canadians by September of this year. However, the terminology is difficult. Immunization means someone received the vaccine and then became immune to COVID-19. Currently, Canada has two suppliers of vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, names you're probably sick of hearing. Each of those vaccines actually requires two doses in order to be effective. And once both are administered, they still only have a success rate for immunization of 95% for Pfizer and 94% for Moderna. These are still fantastic rates for a vaccine, especially ones developed under such time pressure. But this should affect your perception of the target set for March and September. In order to reach the March target, Canada has to immunize 3 million Canadians. But that means administering over 6 million successful doses of the vaccine. And with the success rate of these vaccines, it's likely closer to 6.3 million doses. Since the plan was announced, Health Canada has continually provided updates on the vaccine rollout. As of January 21st, the most up-to-date information provided by Health Canada the total number of vaccine doses delivered is at 1.12 million. But according to them, the number of doses administered is just 960,000. And by their own admittance, the number of people to have received two doses and were successfully immunized is still under 120,000. In terms of immunizations, we've only immunized 2% of the target within 50% of the time. Even if the target was 6.3 million doses administered by March, we're not even one-sixth of the way. But the problems don't stop there. In order to reach the September target of having over 70% of Canadians vaccinated, we'll need at least 55 million doses. Currently, 
Canada may have agreed to pay for over 400 million of the various shots under development from seven different pharmaceutical companies, but we've only been promised 40 million from Pfizer by the end of 2021, and have zero promises from Moderna. And already, Pfizer has fallen behind on deliveries. From January 25th to February 1st, Pfizer delivered zero new doses to Canada. We currently don't have enough vaccines promised, nor are we delivering them at the speed necessary to reach any of the deadlines within Health Canada's plans for March, September, or the end of 2021. Canada is 20th in the world for delivering vaccine doses. Britain, for example, is delivering an average of 389,000 doses per day. Some have speculated about an ulterior motive for why the government is continuing to tout this plan. Minority governments are always prepared for an election, but within the past week, the NDP finally paid back their campaign debt. The Conservatives announced that they had record-breaking donation numbers in the fourth quarter, and the Liberal Party held an election readiness conference with their MPs. Now, just to be absolutely clear, we are not for a moment suggesting that Trudeau was being intentionally deceptive from the outset of this plan's creation. And we are not trying to say that Trudeau doesn't care about getting vaccines for Canadians. But this plan was created on speculation and overly ambitious promises that would no doubt positively impact Liberal polling numbers. There is still a chance for Canada to reach these targets. One way would be if another company's vaccine was approved and we could rely on a new supply of doses from companies other than Pfizer and Moderna. Or, perhaps less likely, would be that Pfizer exceeds their delivery promises. Either of these would be unexpected, and a gamble that everything would operate perfectly should never have been relied upon by Trudeau to make up for the failings of the original plan.